You owe it to my mother. She helped you in your early days. She supported you when you needed it. I'm certain she'd be against this plan. Do you know who introduced me to Sarah all those years ago? Lord Mortimer. Do you know who advised Sarah to start up a chapter of the Golden Order with me in the United States? Lord Mortimer? You see my point, then? I have a lot of respect for your mother, Louis, but my allegiance is to Lord Mortimer. Tell me what Sir Gregory has to offer that I don't already have with Lord Mortimer. What would you say to winning a few colonies? I'm sure that Sir Gregory would be prepared to discuss the acquisition of new territories. No thanks, Louis. I am not interested. Colonies bring with them their own thorny problems, and thus I prefer to focus on the consolidation of American territory. Listen, Louis. If I had any doubts about Lord Mortimer's project, I stand reassured now. I hope Sir Gregory has more tricks up his sleeve than you do, because I regret to inform you that, as far as politics is concerned, you've got a lot to learn. But you are still young, so don't worry. On that note, I would like to get some sleep. Please leave me now. Good night, Mr. President. Shit. That was a failure. There's nothing more I can do except wait for the conference to resume tomorrow morning. Duchess Emily Hillsborough. Duke Manuel Godoy. Huh, that's me. Good evening, Monsieur le Francais. Duchess, you're here. What a charming surprise. I'm beginning to think you can't be without me. You have managed to penetrate my armor, sir. Am I disturbing you, perhaps? That's not what I said. Ah, oh, by the way, congratulations on choosing Sir Gregory this evening. You surprised me. I wasn't expecting it. Why, Emily? Can't you read me like an open book? Not as well as you read me, it would seem. I'll teach you if you'd like. There's nothing I'd like more. Tell me, are these visits to Mortimer's always so intense? Yes and no. My sister doesn't normally disappear like she has. Any news of your mother? Well, I should imagine you're still shaken. 
I promise to shed light on my mother's circumstances as soon as possible. There's not much to shed light on. What your mother did is inexcusable. She won the trust of my sister in order to more easily betray her. She didn't do anything to her. I... Can we change subject, please? I didn't come here to go through all that again. Of course, it's late. You're right. Come, Louis. My friends, do not worry. I assure you that Lord Mortimer's plan will never see the light of day. I shall deal with informing our allies, but for the time being, I need you to make a stand. What do you think about Monsieur de Richet? I don't know yet. I feel there's great potential in him. He looks like he can be trusted. Why isn't he with us? He was opposed to Mortimer. I'll wait and see. I'm still not sure of his position. And uh, Duchess Hillsborough. Why isn't she here? She's busy. Don't worry about her. Oh, isn't it time to replace her? Not so fast, sir. She is an important figure. You ought to have a little more faith in her. What are we going to do about Washington? He will be a hard nut to crack. On our chessboard, he is Mortimer's king. Don't worry. Mr. President only wants one thing. To keep his dear America united. He won't jeopardize everything he has achieved on a whim. He has been serving Mortimer for quite some time. It won't be easy to uh, bring him around. I have asked Monsieur de Richet to approach him. Let us have faith in him. I sense that Mr. Peru is about to surprise us too. Yet he is Mortimer's strong arm in France. He knows his time has come, and I believe he is intelligent enough to realize it means he is no longer any use to Mortimer. Do you feel all right, Mr. Godoy? You haven't said a word. Please, excuse me, gentlemen. I feel tired. Oh, I see. I think it is high time you left us then. Now! Emily? Emily? Are you there? Sir, the conference is about to begin. You are expected in the conference room. Tell them I'm coming. Thank you. Come on, Louis. The game is back on. My friends, the conference is about to begin. And please excuse me if I troubled you last night with my project. I understand that you might well have a few questions to ask. As you know, the final vote will be cast in a few days. This morning's aim is to answer your questions and check the temperature of your respective positions so that we may reach a greater understanding. As always, Lord Mortimer. Uh, we parted in perfect disagreement, my lord. Where would you like us to take it from? Come, sir. Please let William believe he still has a chance of winning us over. Otherwise, his imprecations will lack panache, and we shall be bored stiff. Oh, let me reassure you. I 
convinced that a good night's sleep has brought sound advice and that this morning will be even more interesting. Therefore, I would like to go around the table in order to hear everyone's first impressions. Well, I am still firmly against it. Even though my choice won't count. Against. 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 And you, Luke Manuel? Against, of course. Well, as for me, I am for Lord Mortimer's project. Despite Duchesse Hillsborough's overwhelmingly convincing nocturnal attentions. What? So Emily was playing at trying to win over guests last night? It was nothing more than a friendly little chat, of course. How could it be otherwise? And by the way, remember me to your husband when you see him. And you, President Washington, what is your position? Four, of course. And I will add for your benefit, Sir Gregory, that next time you send someone to try to persuade me to change sides, choose someone with a minimum of experience. Oh, I won't forget, Mr. President. Well, that leaves just yourself and Monsieur Peru, Louis. You're all making me sick. Look at yourselves. What? You are pathetic! Have you been drinking or what? There you are, quibbling away. My Lord do this, and Madame do just that. You know very well that we're nothing but puppets on a damn string. Jacques, Camille, let's end the charade. It's over. Jacques. My Lord, thank you for everything you've done for me over the years. But it didn't come for free. And now I see the price is too high to pay. I'll stop. Come, Jacques, we'll talk it over. No, I'm finished. I want my freedom back, my lord. I shall no longer work for you. Wait. Derise, you just can't help it, can you? Stop trying to play the hero, man! Jack, calm down. You're, you're frightening everyone. Look at yourself. This is not the real you. Come on. Rest assured, my friends. You're in no danger from me. I spoke to him only recently. Monsieur Peru has lost his mind. It's obvious. Yet another way for the French to make a spectacle of themselves. Well, once again it has worked. My friends, let us settle down, please. We are all in shock, of course. Let us praise Louis' gesture anyway. You did what you could. Yes, it was very noble of you, Louis. It wasn't your fault. There was nothing else you could have done. I think everyone needs a little rest. Can you stay a moment? Of course. Louis. I wanted to talk to you a moment about what has happened. All this is tragic, but I wanted to thank you for doing what you could. I wasn't able to save him. You couldn't, Louis. You mustn't blame yourself. It is not your fault. Of course, but I thought I could help him. I guess it was too late. Don't torture yourself. Look what you've done. 
I admire what you did. Who else among all these great luminaries of the modern 